Hey guys, for sure straight here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your phone if an app will not open, if you did a recent software update and all of a sudden it's not working or it's just not working for some reason anymore. So there's a couple things you can do to kind of get the app working again. So let's say you have an app, maybe YouTube or TikTok or Facebook or whatever app you're using, it just doesn't open up any longer. So there's a couple things you can do to fix it. The first thing we're going to do is from the bottom, you're going to pull up the menu here and try to close out the app that you want to open and in that case let's say if YouTube wasn't opening when we click on it you can go from here to try to open it or simply just slide up to close it and it's generally good to just close all the apps here and this will allow the next time you open up the app if the app was frozen it should open up for you without any issues now let's say that didn't work for you the next thing you can do is a force restart of your phone so to do a force restart you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold the side button just like that and now you're going to wait till the screen goes completely black and you see the apple logo while holding down this side button and once it's done that we will wait for the apple logo here and once the Apple logo, we let go of that button. And all it's doing is giving the phone a nice, fresh, clean reboot and reloading the software code. So if there is a software issue impacting your phone, this generally will resolve that issue. And hopefully, you can open the app that you need to. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data, like photos, videos, apps, anything like that. Now, after you have done that and you're still having an issue where the app is not opening for you, the next thing to do is actually updating the app itself to see if there's an update out. And to do that, you can go into your app store just like that. And once you open up app store, make sure you're signed in here for you. Probably if you're not signed in, most likely you're signed in. And then once you do that, you'll see here all the apps that require update. Now, you can choose to update all of your app at once or if there's a certain app that you're having issues with and there's an update out for it. Let's say maybe we're having issues opening up Netflix and there's an update out. We're going to click on that update button. It's going to spin like that. It might sometimes prompt you for your iCloud password. Enter that. Or if not, if it's going like that, that means the update is going through. Generally, these updates take about uh, somewhere between 30 seconds to a minute. And once the update is done, and hopefully you can go to that app that you're looking to open up and it is working for you. Now, let's say it's still not working after you updated the app. The next thing to do is ensuring that your phone have enough free space available. And the reason why that is, is that some apps require extra free space so that it can load up properly. In order to check how much free space you have, is you simply go into settings here. And once you go into settings here, you're going to go here to general. And then after you go to general, you'll see your iPhone storage. And this will give you an indicator of how much storage you have free are available. As you can see here, we're using 21 gig out of 128 gig on this phone. But let's say this amount of storage that you're using is very close to the actual storage on your phone. You might need to start uh, deleting some stuff and kind of look at the recommendation that iPhone is giving you. You can start by maybe possibly deleting some long videos. Sometimes videos are you know they take up a lot of space so start with deleting videos after that take a look at apps that you might not use try to delete those as well and take a look at to see what happens sometimes if you have long threaded messages it's okay to do go ahead and delete those messages if you don't care because that will free up some space but you want to make sure that your phone has uh, some free space so the app can load up properly now after you have done that and it's still not working the next thing you can do is in the settings we're going to go to general and all the way down here look for transfer reset iphone we're going to click on that and then after we click on that we'll click on this very first option for reset once we do that we get this menu here and the reset that we're looking to do is the very first one which is reset all settings which will take about two to three minutes but before you do that reset you can understand what that does what that will do is reset all the default settings things like if you had any network related settings like VPN or Wi-Fi setting, it will uh, delete those keyboard dictionary settings. Like if you add a custom uh, keyboard words to the dictionary, it will remove those. Home screen layout, if you have custom layout for your home screen, it will also reset those things like around location and privacy will also get uh, reset. Now, these are all settings related. This method will not delete in your personal data like photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. And again, like I mentioned, it will take two to three minutes. But after that, if there is a setting impacting your 
actual app from not opening it will resolve that now after you have done that and it's still not working the very last thing you can do is come back to settings again and go to general and look for to see if there is available software update out for your phone and if there is it will get you a menu like this it will tell you about some things around bug fixes and the reason why it is let's say an app has updated to a new version and you didn't update the phone yet and it's not compatible because the developers want the latest version of the software it's good to make sure that your phone is up to date so you're going to hit that uh, download and install here and to do that it will take around half an hour to 45 minutes depending on how big the update is you want to make sure that you're connected to a good wi-fi or cellular data and also your battery is at least 50 percent or more and after you have done the update hopefully your the app that won't open or work for you will be working again for you so i hope that this video helped in resolving the issue where app is not working for you or won't, won't open if so please make sure that like and subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching guys see you guys next time